Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It looks like I'll be finishing off Tall Tall Mountain this part, starting with Blast of the Lonely Mushroom. You'll notice that there is a mushroom with a star on it that we've passed a bunch of times here and yeah, that's the one that we're going to be collecting this time. And how do we do that? Well, it requires that cannon down there. See that down there? Yeah, that one. But we haven't activated the cannon yet, have we? So we gotta do that. The cannon location as to where the bob -omb buddy is, it's rather obscure and I'm, I'm coming up to it now. Okay, see that? A little ledge down there? Well, you probably don't see it just yet. Um, right over here. There it is. Now that's a hidden location. Thank you, bob -omb buddy. And... Whoa, where does that panel slide out to? That that panel is wider than the platform itself. That That's it's weird. It's like it slides off to the side, but it doesn't stick out the side. And, oh, forget it. I probably shouldn't question. You know what? You know what happened that one other time? That, that time before that. And, okay, let's, let's not reference the past here. And let's just move on. Not questioning the logic of things. Now you're probably wondering, how do you get down there? Well, you can't get down there by any regular means either. As a matter of fact, you need to know this. Stand here. Um, wait, is this the one? Maybe this isn't the one. Uh, which one of these mushrooms has the warp? This one, okay. <laughs> And over here is a signboard which we haven't read yet, of course. Danger! Strong gusts. But the wind makes a comfy ride. That's a hint that you can jump off the edge to uh, use wind to get places, but I'm not going to need that at all here. I'm just going to work my way to the cannon carefully. It gets more and more narrow as you go! And all you have to do from here is shoot to the star. Don't miss. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. How do I want to angle this? Probably like that. So oh, that was too low. <laughs> How unfortunate. So I gotta aim a little bit higher than that. But now that I got the cannon activated, I can just warp over there and do the little little along the edge again. Alrighty. <laughs> That's too bad. I was doing so well. <laughs> Alright, so... Hop to... This shroom. Oh, oh, there we go. That warp spot's kind of finicky. That's why I tried the other mushroom uh, a couple of other times, because I wasn't sure which mushroom it was just offhand. I just knew it was there. So, yeah. You just gotta make sure you're in just the right spot. It's, it's about in the middle of the mushroom. Mm, one more time. Should do it. Because I got the feel of the shot now. Hopefully. <laughs> So, how about like that? Yes, perfect. Yes, 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 yes. All right, next star is going to be the 100 coin star. And that will fit. <laughs> that will finish off the world. So, red coin star as usual. Um. I don't think there's, there's any coins back here, no, just the one up. Though I will be coming through there again after doing the uh, slide, because there's a bunch of coins on the slide in this level, so we're going to have to do some treacherous sliding in order to get those coins. And as a matter of fact, I should probably do uh, this crazy box first, and then go towards the slide. Okay, for this crazy box, you want to angle yourself slightly to the left so that you can control the landing. There you go. That's a little bit treacherous because you're right near the edge of death, but it's not that bad once you know where you want to aim yourself and don't hit the wall. <laughs> if you hit the wall, you're gonna bounce off into the death. Um, 
Wow, there's actually a lot of treacherous coins in this one. Maybe I should work on the coins on my way up. Hmm. Because <laughs> it doesn't seem like there's any spot that's overly safe to collect coins off of. And I think that uh, exclamation point box you've seen off to the side there contains a 1-up. But I'll, I'll check it just in case it's coins. It's because it's, it's on a large mushroom. Yep, it's just a 1-up. My memory didn't fail me for once! Astounding! <laughs> so, what I'm going to be doing here is killing some moles. No, actually not. That, that, that won't help me in the slightest. I want to get up to the Sly, but I don't want to collect too many coins on my way there because it's pretty difficult to get the star if it ends up on the slide for obvious reasons. So I'm going to try and collect the star off the slide by finishing the... Uh, the slide itself, and get as many coins as I can off of it. And maybe I shouldn't have collected those, but I don't think there's that many coins in the slide. Alright, don't forget about this coin around the corner there, and that one up there. And start sliding! Gotta go fast to get the blue coins that are sliding up ahead of you. Well, kind of. You don't have to go fast here just yet, but this one you might have to... Nope, don't have to miss! Important coinages, look out for Turn of Doom. Oh, jeez, that was close. Oh. oh! Luckily, there's ample amounts of coins in this level that I don't have to worry about getting every single one of them, so... <laughs> oh, jeez! Oh! Oh! 83, 88... Okay, not too shabby. I'm pretty sure there are that many coins around the actual course itself. I'm gonna ignore that star, and oh, I should have ground pounded. This is where that 1-up is way, way at the beginning, and I'm going to recover my health just to be safe. Okie dokie. And now I'm going to go around once again, because I got the majority of the treacherous coins in this area, so... Yeah, oh no 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 you don't. Don't you dare. No messing up on the long jump PK Gam. You have 88 coins. There is no time for these shenanigans. I'll get those red coins on my way back, but I know there's a couple of bombs here. And there's also a Chuckya. No! <laughs> there's also a Chuckya up ahead. And seriously? Come on, man! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get the chuck ya. There we go, because you get five coins. Yay! That's... Oh, oh, wait a second. I might have this already. And, ooh, there's a shy guy there that I could get coins from, but that's riskier than the red coins I could be getting this way. Wait, just, just out of curiosity, if I were to let... Um... These bob bombs that respawn, since I didn't get their coin, will I be able to get their coin again if I... You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> if, I'm, if I blow you up, will I be able to get your coin again? That's the question, because the coin might have despawned. Nope, nope, the, it, the coins do not replenish whatsoever. That's too bad. So I guess that one that walked itself off the edge was not helpful anyway. <laughs> Oh uh, well, just my luck. I have to climb a little bit to get the red coin here. There we go. And I cannot see the star up here. <laughs> Yay! How did I end up on the ledge up there? I don't know. <laughs> and I can now safely exit the course. And, oh shoot, maybe I should have just killed myself, because I'm going to have to walk back up to the next floor to start the next world, but whatever, I guess this gives you a tour as to where the next world is, although I did show you where it is in my little preview when I uh, showed you around the castle and stuff like that. In here, this is Tiny Huge Island, and there are three paintings around here, as you can tell. There's one large, one small, one medium. This medium, medium one... You can't go inside, because it is, just as it says, Tiny Huge Island. And, well, for the first star, you're probably going to want to go through the small side first, and you'll see why. Pluck the piranha flower. There's a couple of giant piranha flowers in this one. Um, th these are micro Goombas. There are 
uh, large and small variations of enemies in this game. So, I mean, in, in this level, and that's the gimmick of the level, it's... Uh, it is the... Um, it's small and large things, basically. And what we want to do here is go over to this platform and battle the... Where are they? There they are! Mega Piranha Plants! Oh. You see, these are kind of tricky to defeat, actually. You got There we go. Their hitbox is, is very weird. It's, it doesn't look like... Uh, what what is showing on the... Like, where their head is and where you punch, it, it's not there. It's like more towards the vine. Anyway, there's a third one right here. And once you kill all three of them... Uh, where is... Hello? Oh, there's four. I thought there was only three here. Five? Really? Boy, my, mem my memory sucks. <laughs> Alright, so there's five. Kill them all. It doesn't really matter how many there are. You just gotta kill them all. <laughs> gotta kill them all. And there's the star. And that's the first star of this level. So, grab it. Oh, that, I said grab it. Let's go right over to the next star right away, because things are going very quickly here. But I'm trying to think of what's what's next. I think I'm going to have to climb to the top of the island, so I probably want to start at the big side first. And going inside the big painting lets you do so. So, tip the tip top of the huge island, I was indeed correct. If you choose the wrong one, you will... obviously you will have to um, uh, go into a pipe to change sides. Because that's, that's the gimmick of the level, is that you change sides using the pipes, and you can get anywhere you want by keep switching sides. It's like a, a puzzle island of sorts. And beware of too there, he's gonna cause all sorts of issues. And like, maybe I should have started on the micro side. Or the mini, or tiny side. Well, I, I guess this will give me a chance to show you around the island anyway. So, let's go across, and no, 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 I want to read signages, sign, there we go, danger, strong gusts, I know, <laughs> but the wind makes it comfy, right, oh, they're hinting at that you can do this again, woo, and, oh, geez, Ugh. if you ground pound these larger Goombas, the Mega Goombas, they'll actually give you a blue coin instead of a gold coin, so that's kind of a, a handy thing to know, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change sides, actually. So I'm, I'm feeling, uh, maybe not from here. I'm feeling impatient, and uh, I'd like to get to the top of the island. <laughs> um, I think there's going to be wind here. Oh! Okay. Beware of the marbles of doom. They're all like cannonball size or something. I don't know, but whatever they are, they're dangerous. Um, up here is... Oh, actually, I can get to the top of the island from here. I don't need that. I don't need to use the the pipe systems to speed things up anymore. Oh, jeez. This Chukya can sometimes be an issue. Okay, okay, run around, get away from it. Oh, jeez, camera. Whenever, whenever the camera decides to swing around like that, just stop moving. It's in your best interest. I don't think this... Is this the box? Oh, it is the box. Because uh, there's, there's something else up here that I'll have to do a little bit later on. Uh, it involves being on the small side and getting up here, but that's that's another star entirely. Uh, camera, work with me here. <laughs> and there's a star. Yay! All right. Uh, what is the next star? That is the question. Um, I'll I'll go inside the big side because it's easier to navigate. The, the, the tiny side is um, a lot more platform, I mean, it's not very platforming friendly, so to speak. Oh, rematch with Koopa the Quick. This one is on the uh, large side, actually, so I do believe I am on the right side. Although it might take me a little while to get up there. Um, it is actually straight where I'm... No, wait, wait, actually, it's... Oh, I killed Lakitu. Ha! I wonder if I can, like... Like cheating my way up there because I know the ledge I need to get it to is is uh, up there. Like just for the fun of it, let's see if I can do this differently than the. Oh, I guess, I, guess I can't. Differently than the designers intended. I thought I would do that for fun. 
Oh well, that's too bad. <laughs> I just gotta go around and do it the normal way then. No fly guy. S keep away. There's the flag. That is our destination, just to let you know where it is. Good thing there is wind. Wind is my friend at this point in the level. Okay, okay. And there's a little trick to beating this race. Um, you don't move faster than Koopa the Quick does in this one, despite him being a turtle. Koopa the Quick is really quick, this one. Like, quite literally. <laughs> uh, not all the way over enough, I have to go further. Here we are. Here's Koopa the Quick. Oh, and it, this is something funny. Um, if you come here when you're... Um, can I be able to show you? No, I can't show this right now. Um, if you come on the mini side, like the tiny side, you're, you're actually able to kill Koopa the Quick as a small, regular-sized Koopa enemy, but right, but he's mega-sized here, so you're able to uh, talk to him. <laughs> That's just a little funny thing the designers put in the game. Long time no see! Wow, have you gotten fast! Have you been training on the sly, or is it the power of the stars? I've been feeling down about losing the last race. This is my home course. How about a rematch? The goal is in Winsup Valley. Uh, don't go, I want to read this sign first. <laughs> I think it's actually a sign by Koopa the Quick. Yep, I'll be back soon. I'm out trading now, so come back later. But he's already here, so you should have taken his sign though. Go! Alright, the trick to this race is... Oh jeez. Because as I said, he's really, really fast. He's much, much faster than you. Long jump to gain speed. Cut corners if you can. Seriously, you do not want to lose to him. And once you get to this spot, you're going to want to stay towards the right because he'll actually push you forward because that's where he tends to be even though I won somehow by a landslide. <laughs> well, it wasn't, that, it wasn't that big of a landslide, but I mean, I, I did a pretty good job. Uh, taking him on. No way! You beat me again! And I just spent my entire savings on these new Koopa Mach 1 Sprint Shoes! Here, I guess I have to hand over this star to the winner of the race. Congrats, Mario. Why, thank you. Yeah, that's- I, I beat him much easier than I usually beat him. Like, usually he's catching up to me on the, uh, windy bridge there. What I actually- what I have to do to beat him is, uh, uh, use his body to push me forward like I stand in front of him and he makes me go faster than I normally would. Anyway, collect the star and get out of here. here we go! Woo! 101 stars. Already close to the end of the game. But for now, I'm gonna end off this part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.